Okay, let me explain to everybody what I got going here. I've got a turbine that is up here spinning like crazy. And as you see down here, that's the wiring for the turbine. Very thick, very heavy duty. Now, up on my roof, what you can't see is I've got solar panels laid flat. I have them laid flat instead of at an angle at the moment because I don't want the storms ripping them off my roof. Now, let me show you where all the juice goes. Got several things going on here. Okay, these are charge controllers. Those are for the solar panels. That's what takes sine wave and converts it into a little bit more usable DC power. I'm feeding these batteries. Okay. I think I got six marine batteries going there. The wiring looks Frankenstein. It's it's because yeah, I did it myself. This is an MPPT charge controller. My turbine actually makes AC current. This converts it to DC and then it runs on to charge the batteries. This is a 2000 watt uh, power inverter. Now here's where it gets really Frankenstein. I've run some plugs to the front of the power inverter. Now you see this cord here? It goes into my wall here for the power inverter. But you're saying, well, Eric, why are you running it into the wall? Okay, let me show you where it comes out at. Ta-da! An outlet. What does that outlet run? A coffee pot, whoop de doo And, ta-da! I don't know if you can see it or not. There, you can't have the light on. Another outlet. Those outlets are on that yellow line. It comes out here in the garage. Goes right there to that power inverter. So basically every day my coffee and my laundry is coming from my turbine and my solar panels. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. There's one more orange cord back there. Goes through the wall. Comes out in the living room. So if there's a power outage, we could also run our TV, radio, whatever, off this same Frankenstein conglomeration. Pretty cool, huh?